guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Esther and thank you, thank you so much for tuning in in today's video. So before we get started, you guys already know the drill. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so then you're always notified when you go upload. So in today's video, you guys, I created, okay, first of all, this was not the look that I was supposed to create. I wanted to create like a smoky glitter brown look um, but I didn't have no brown glitter at all sadly so I ended up grabbing like this like burgundy red and I think it just completes the look even better than the brown um, and I also paired up with this beautiful like bodysuit from Pretty Little Thing but yeah my loves I already know you guys are going to love this look before you even look go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up okay just do it just do it, okay? And also leave me a nice little comment down below because I am sure to comment back. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Y'all already know, grab yourself a snack, get comfortable, and let's play with some makeup. Girl, do y'all see these crusty lips? I should be ashamed of myself. Why am I talking to you guys with the crust? This is not okay. <laughs> This ain't it, sis. This ain't it. So, to, you know, get this out the way and put some lotion. I did wash my face, so my skin is so clean. And then I didn't do nothing to my lips. Any embarrassment. Any embarrassment, in fact. So, I'm going to grab the Forsarly, um Antioxidant Unicorn Lip Mask. I love this stuff. It tastes so good. Well, if you're going to lick your lips, it tastes amazing. So, I'm just going to put this on my lips, girl. Because, girl... Crusty, get it together, hey, get it together. My face is not moisturized yet. I'm gonna moisturize my whole face once I've done my brows, but I'm gonna grab this Tint and Tame Brow Gel from Sigma. I love this stuff, it's like really, really good. Um, it just keeps your brows on place. It's really, really nice. I used to use this one brow product a long time ago, and Carly Bybel, um, she's the one who got me hooked. And I loved it, and it's from Amazon, so I need to find it um, so I can buy that one because, y'all, that one, like, legit keeps your brows in place and your brows are not moving. This one is cool, but it's not as strong as the other one. So, for brows, I'm going to use this Anastasia Brow Wiz. I haven't used Anastasia Brow Wiz in such a long time. I mean, it's been a long time, and if you ask me why, girls, because it's expensive, okay? I mean, if I can choose NYX and ColourPop and all the affordable brow pencil and they still get the job done, I'm going to go for it. But I stopped at Ulta and I was like, stop being cheap, Esther. Stop being cheap. You know, you missed that Anastasia, so we grabbed it. Okay, so we're going to... Don't mind my hair. Don't mind my hair. Don't mind my hair. We're going to fix that after we're done. So don't mind my hair. Oh, but I will be honest, using this brow pencil, it's really, really good. I really do need to get my brows done because I feel like I have no like perfect arch. When I usually get my brows done, the girl who does them, she gives me like a nice little arch. I feel like my brows are looking pretty, pretty decent. I'm gonna grab this Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Concealer in the shade 165 Deep. I feel like every time I do my brows, I'm always like, yeah, I feel like my brows look pretty decent. It's like every time I do my brows, they're different, okay? They're just, I don't know. The best thing about cleaning up your brows uh, with concealer is the fact that if you messed up on your brows, if you want to fix them, concealer is like the best solution to that. And I usually use this Morphe M432 brush. It's flat. It's able to help me, you know, curve out my brows too, even if my brows are not curved up enough. This kind of helps out. I feel like brows are a headache in general, so yeah. One of these days, you guys are gonna get a video of me getting my brows microbladed for the first time, so keep a lookout for that. I just gotta make an appointment for that. But we're about to do it, because this is, this is too much. My face is so dry right now. I need a little bit of moisture. Um, so for that, I'm going to use this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel, and this is the Extra Dry Skin. You guys know I rave about this a lot, a lot. I've been using this for years. It's just one of my favorite products to moisturize your face, especially if you're dry skin. Sis, this will get you covered, okay? I'm just going to use a little bit or a lot because, yeah. 
why not <laughs> like this moisturizer is so good instantly my face feels so moisturized okay so i want to be extra today i'm gonna grab this mario badescu skin facial spray and this one has ole herbs and rose water i'm almost done like it's almost it's not quite there but you know we're getting there we're getting there so it is time for primer um I have to show you guys this because you guys know Laura Mercier is like one of my favorite makeup company, okay, ever. <laughs> so they sent over, okay, the new um, primer collection and I'm so, so, so happy. Um, I've already tried this one right here. Now H primer is based on your skin type. And I do have like the booklet is in my beauty room, but each primer is based on your skin type. So because I have a dry skin, um, I would grab the hydration one, but we just have all different kinds here. So what I'm going to, I think I'm going to just grab, oh yeah, they have a SPF 30. This is going to be my best friend for the summer, or at least when I go and get some sand and sun and stuff. Um, and then this one is the one I used. This I loved so much. And this one is the Pure Canvas Powder Primer. So that's really interesting. I liked it. It was really nice. So I think I'm going to grab... Oh, they do have an illuminating. I think I'm going to grab the illuminating. Because I usually grab hydration primers a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a good amount. Which, that is pretty good. And I'm just going to put this all over my face. I think that was a lot but you know I like this because it's gonna give me a little bit of a glow underneath my makeup too and it's also a primer the feel to it feels really nice it does not feel drying at all and I did moisturize my face so you guys seen that so that's probably another reason why I don't feel like it's drying at all. So for foundation, I'm going to grab this Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I am in the shade Chai. I'm going to put some foundation in the back of my hand. And I'm just going to dot my face. And then I'm also going to blend this all out with a brush. Not a beauty, beauty blender today. I'm about to say beauty. Tongue Twister, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna start with that much and then if I need more coverage because this is medium to full I'm gonna you know build more coverage to that so I am grabbing this Morphe M439 brush and I'm just going to start blending this all in I'm just tapping it I love 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 this brush to blend out my foundation It's my favorite So for concealer, I'm going to grab this Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Concealer in the shade 165. I have been liking this concealer lately. Yeah, this concealer, you guys, if you haven't tried it, it's affordable and it's really, really nice. It's very lightweight and it glides on the skin really, really nice and it looks flawless once it's blended in. I love it. I so love it. And it still gives me like a nice little coverage too that I like. So I'm going to grab a damp beauty blender and start blending that concealer in. Wow, I am so in love with this concealer. Y'all see that? I'm so, so in love with this concealer, you guys. It's so pretty. So to cream contour, I'm going to grab this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm hearing like a ringing sound. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's coming from somewhere. So I'm just going to contour with this. Just all the points where I want to just like snatch, make everything look slimmer. So my nose. So to blend that in, I'm going to grab this Zova 122 Petite Stippling Brush and this is just going to blend it all in. I gotta hurry up and blend because sometimes this concealer, if you wait for too long, <laughs> it's not gonna blend so nice. So you gotta move fast with this ColourPop concealer, honey. Okay, so we gotta go ahead and set because we don't want no creases. 
Um, I'm just gonna like take this Beauty Bakery setting powder in the shade Translucent and I'm just gonna grab my Beauty Blender, make sure nowhere has creases before it was set because you're going to set where the places you didn't blend so make sure you blend one more time so then you're all the way secure baby set 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 this setting powder is so good y'all so to set where i contoured i'm gonna grab this fenty beauty um bronzer in the shade coco naughty I'm just going to set all around, all around, all, all around, all aboard. <laughs> I'm also going to catch my nose because that nose contour kind of like disappeared on me, baby. Snatch, baby. Now it is time for the eyes. Girl, I got so excited when Juvia's Place came out with this palette because it is beautiful. Brown tones. I love brown tones. I love them so much, especially swimming up my crease. This is the kind of palette I play with, okay? I'm gonna grab this shade right here, and it's a little bit lighter. And what I'm gonna do is just start working it into the crease, warming up the crease a little bit, building it up so then, you know, it can appear so that we can see it, so then it's not hidden. Okay, so next I'm gonna grab this beautiful, okay, first of all, don't mind my brushes, they're clean. They're just stained. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab this beautiful, like, it's more of a lighter chocolate, um, but it's still like a little nice chocolate still. So I'm gonna just tap this in here and work this into my crease a little bit lower and just start blending it all in. And wow, I love Juvia's Place. I love Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. They're amazing. These mini eyeshadow palettes are very pigment. They're very blendable so easy to blend and they're just so beautiful i wish they came out with like a yellow oh my gosh i'm waiting for them to come out with like a yellow mini eyeshadow that would be so dope even a green oh even a red just all the colors even blue oh my gosh they should just have me work for them that's just that's just how it has to be at this point i really have a look in vision but then, you know, sometimes all the looks that you have in your mind never turn out the way you actually supposed to. So, for me at least. If you can relate, then let me know in the comment section. Because I feel like every look I do, sometimes, sometimes, it turns out how it's supposed to be and sometimes it doesn't. But when it doesn't turn out how it's supposed to be, I always love it. So, so I'm going to start applying this same shade under my water lash line but for that i'm gonna grab this zoba 227 soft definer brush and just like start smoking this bad boy out okay so for the eyelids i think i'm gonna grab this shade or i might just mix these two shades together um because they're like the darkest shades in this palette yeah so no for that, so I'm just going to like start packing this all over my eyelid. I feel like I'm going back and forth to the same eyeshadow, so I'm going to grab these two eyeshadows again, and I'm just going to work this under my water lash line again, but this time with a, um, with a Morphe M431 brush. It's more of a pencil brush. It gets under that water lash line. While the other one was a little bit more fluffier. So you guys, I literally was just talking about how I wish I had brown glitter. And then, I was like, hold on, don't I have glitter from eBay that I bought like five years ago? <laughs> thinking you know where did I put those girl I found them it was in my bathroom okay <laughs> I don't even know how it got there but it was in my bathroom I got some glitter from eBay you know you know you know you know you know I don't know if I have brown I don't think I have brown that's 
Stop brown. That's not brown. So let me let me look if I have brown. Yo, yo! Look at this. Oh my gosh! This is it. That's not brown, but you know it's close enough. It's close enough. So I'm just gonna add. Okay, please don't mess up my look glue. Don't do me. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Ooh. 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 <laughs> That's very pretty. Okay, so for blush, I want to have a little bit of color and stuff. Y'all, this glitter is everywhere. The heck is even in my hair? But anyways, for blush, I'm going to grab the Juvia's Place blush palette. And I'm going to grab this shade right here. I feel like this shade is like perfect right now for this look. to fix my hair put on a cute shirt and see how this whole look will turn out um so for lashes uh tati lashes send over a few lashes that i cannot wait to try out <sighs> i just don't know which ones because this is a more glammy look so we need a little bit more of a fuller i want something more full yo the packaging is really really nice i love packaging like this so simple but yet so freaking pretty like it's not taking so much credit from the lashes itself oh and they also have a case on it so a clear case so these are tl3 uh, you guys when it comes to lashes do you prefer dramatic lashes or simple lashes what do you guys prefer like i feel like for a brand you should have both you should have a dramatic and you know simple because not everybody loves the dramatic lashes every day and pretty much not every look can look really nice with simple lashes so i feel like for a brand you should definitely have both options and not just one because i see a lot of brands they have just dramatic lashes and i'm like okay come on let's be a little realistic are we gonna wear those lashes all the time out and about <laughs> i feel like you're not at least i don't okay so we need a little bit more of a simple and a dramatic look but y'all let me know in the comment section how do you guys feel about that Lash, no lash. Lash, no lash. Time for highlighter. I am going to grab this Milani Strobe Light Highlighter <laughs> in the shade 04. Woo! Don't sleep on Milani. Don't sleep on Milani. Period. Period. So for lips, I'm not sure whether I want to go for like a glossy or a matte, but I do want to rock a bold, super brown liquid lipstick. Let me add to you guys on Instagram what gloss y'all want to see. Alright guys, so I just got done filming this look, um, and I want you guys to help me pick whether I should do a matte, this is crayon case, <laughs> a matte um brown lippy or a glossy brown lippy let me know because i want to know y'all i'm filming this look right now and y'all need to pick <laughs> okay y'all so thank you for all the people who voted on instagram you guys voted for a matte lip i figured um next time i'm gonna have to do a gloss i think i'm gonna do a gloss for valentine's day look probably like a red glossy lip i've never done a red lip, glossy lip ever um so i'm gonna do that and that was a tongue twister so yeah so I don't need a lip liner for this. I'm just gonna like, just put it on my lips. No lip liner needed. And y'all, this uh, glitter is not my favorite at all. I remember when I bought it, it was cheap as heck from eBay. And I know why it's so cheap. Like it's not all that good at all. 
it keeps cracking and separating. I keep adding more glitter. It's so annoying. So I'm like trying to hurry up and finish this look. Uh, because that glitter ain't it, sis. It ain't it. I'm going to set my whole face with the NYX setting spray. So my loves, this is it for this look. What do you guys think? Um, I love it. Even though I want it like a brown smoky eye glitter look, it's okay. I don't mind uh, this color. It's still beautiful. Like I am so in love. But I'm not crazy for the glitter. Like glitter, it's true when they say like there's good glitter out there and there's just like glitter that's trash. This one is pretty trash because this eye keeps splitting apart, keeps cracking on me, so, ugh, so annoying. But nonetheless, you guys, I love the look. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So yeah, without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and close this video up. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. And also hit that notification bell. And one more thing, leave me a nice little comment in the comment section because I am sure to comment back. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.